And just like that, I've got my shop back. So now the next thing to come in here is the FJ and we're gonna start with a table, a winch, a fuel cell, a fiberglass hood, two seats, a grill, and motor, transmission, and transfer case. I'm gonna get that stuff all on the table. That way we can start taking measurements for packaging of this chassis and everything of all that stuff. And uh, pretty much build a car around those parts. But first I'm gonna go wash this thing off cause I don't wanna be working with a dirty, oily, greasy transfer case. So I don't know if it's just me or if other people do this too, but whenever I start out a chassis, I have to like get a visual of where everything's going to lay out. So I started with a little bit of Jenga and stacking up blocks so I could figure out where the seat's going to go and everything. Just set the hood kind of up there so I can figure out the length and just kind of get an idea of everything and where it's all going to be out measured out the wheelbase. So I used to live in North Carolina and I swear all the years I lived in North Carolina, California was always in a drought and it never rained here. And as soon as I moved back here, it starts raining all the freaking time. So this weekend it's supposed to rain and my compressor isn't covered right now. So I got some, picked up all the steel for the chassis and then got some corrugated metal that I'm gonna build a little roof over my uh, air compressor and try to cover up an area where I can store some tubing. Cause every time it rains, this whole area just floods and then all the water goes underneath the building and inside. So I'm going to try to cover this whole section down to the wall.
So I'm by absolutely no means a construction guy. Um, I'm sure I'll get a lot of people saying I did this all wrong, but I think I did pretty good for not knowing what I'm doing. So I ran out of two by fours because I didn't measure right. And then I'm going to end up going all the way to the end, but this is enough for now. At least I have the compressor covered and uh, I can work in the rain now. So. A lot of times I get caught up in the rhythm of just getting work done and not really doing upgrades to the shop and stuff. So I try to at least once a week take a couple hours and just do some some mild upgrades. Because, you know, a little bit here and there uh, helps out and makes things better. So just the other day we got the whole bottom structure of the chassis laid out, the motor mocked up in there and everything. So I designed the rest of like the cab back of the chassis. The front, I'm gonna kinda wait till I get the whole cab done and then start taking measurements for the hood and the grill and all that kind of stuff and kind of build that as I go. But so far everything's looking good. I'm trying to get better about getting things done quicker and planning what I'm gonna get done in a week and everything. So. This coming week, I have a whole list of things that I wanna get done. So this week, I wanna complete the chassis for the FJ, weld the whole chassis, do the motor mounts, the transmission mount. I need to order the carrier bearing kit from Wide Open Designs, uh, remove the axles from the FJ. The FJ is all torn apart. Pretty much everything's out of the tub. Um, I just need to pull the axles and then start stripping the axles of all the bracketry and everything that was off of it before. And then I want to finish the side yard cover that we started in this video. Uh, I need to order the Johnny joints and all the bungs and everything for the new links. And then I'm going to mock up the axles. And then next weekend I got to do a chassis for a customer. It's Sunday night so I'm going to end this video here. I'm cooking up some ribs gonna spend some time with the family and get ready for next week thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps out a lot keep it classy and i'll catch you guys next week